Hi, I'm Dr. Nashad. I'm a maxillofacial and a head and neck surgeon. I practice in and around Sajapur, Belandur and Kormangla region. Jaw tumors and cysts like amyloblastoma, dentigerous cyst, KCOT are cysts and tumors originating from tooth. Generally, tooth is either erupted or unerupted, can be associated with a third molar tooth or a tooth within the jaw itself. So these tumors or cysts, they generally end up forming localized within that area and slowly grow into current size, position and shape. They end up eating a lot of part of your bone as a result of which generally the symptoms are not very soon visible. These are identified on routine x-rays and maybe when the tooth is mobile or in case of some pain associated with chewing. How do we treat these jaw cysts and tumors? So depending upon the size of the cyst and the tumor, cysts are generally treated with enucleation procedure where we remove the entire cyst, the associated tooth and its lining and remove the remnant cells around it and clear it. How do we remove a tumor? Depending upon the amount of bone that is eaten up, we ideally advise different treatment planning. One is called segmental resection or hemimandiblectomy, and the other is marginal. That is removing a part of the bone and leaving the remaining bone, healthy bone in place. Both of those treatments depend exactly depending upon the extent of the cyst or tumor within the jaw. Eventually, it has been replaced with the primary bone in terms of an iliac or a fibula or any adjacent bone that is placed back in the position in order to build the height, shape and contour of that bone and supported eventually with implants. Jaw tumors are not very aggressive, generally benign, but some are aggressive. This can be identified based on the tissue diagnosis, which we call as histopathology. After removal of the tumor or a cyst, the reconstruction is planned. The reconstruction of the jaw depends upon the amount of bone which has been removed. The amount of bone removed has to be replaced with a healthy bone on that area so that the jaw is back again to take the masticatory load or chewing load. Jaw cysts and tumors are very common and they are diagnosed uh, at much later stage because they are not very symptomatic at first and jaw tumors can actually affect the functionality, the aesthetics, the spatial symmetry form as a result of which there can be a significant change in the shape of the face as well. So addressing jaw tumors is important and identifying and treating them accordingly is also important. Jaw tumors can be treated very efficiently and in case of being diagnosed with jaw tumors, it is advisable that you visit your closest maxillofacial surgeon or a head and neck surgeon to help you identify what is the best way to treat this condition. And aesthetics also forms a very important part of jaw tumors because it's not just the resection as well as aesthetics in helping you form a good quality of life.